and this 15298 garden wagon from Fixture Displays. In this short video, we're going to introduce you all the components and step-by-step -step assembly of this pool wagon. You have the rear wheel hubs, braces, and turning system and the hardware packet along with the front wheel bracket and support and then you have the uh, large panels the long side panel short side panel the handle and 10 inch wheels. To start assembly, we want to pick up the long side panel and then fasten to the flatbed with those cutter pins. If you have any questions, feel free to email us, cs is charliesam at fixturedisplays.com. Although one person can definitely do this, having another person to assist would make the job go a lot faster. We encourage you to browse our website, fixturedisplays.com, for many other home and business products. Now we're ready to do the short panels and make sure the locking system on the end matches up in the right orientation and then fasten the cutter pins. Now I'm going to show you how to uh, lock the two panels up together. We simply insert the hook and then fasten with the acorn nut on the other side. You would need a, a wrench to fasten that nut because the knot is kind of special. It has a ring inside to lock the system in place. Now I have the main body ready. We're going to turn it upside down to assemble the wheel hubs. Want to identify and match up the two holes and insert the screw and fasten the nut. You're gonna need some tools here, mainly adjustable wrench if you don't have a proper socketed uh, wrench. Now if you have a uh, wrench set with the uh, shallow uh, sockets, that's, uh, that's preferable. Now we're gonna install the reinforcement braces. Line the holes up and then fasten with screws. Now the space underneath the metal braces, uh, there's not a lot of space so you want to be careful and use a proper tool to ensure those screws are properly fastened. Now we're going to install the wheels, put on the big washer, and then fasten the nut. Likewise, repeat on the other side. Now this is the front wheel hub. It is a little more complicated than the rear wheel hub because it has a turning system. Now this is the turning bracket to be installed in here. Okay, we're going to fasten them up with the screws. And this is a support bracket for the turning system. So we're going to Line the holes up and then fasten them with one screw.
If you like our video, you can definitely use a subscription. If you like our product and services, please consider leave a good seller feedback along with a good review. Now we're inserting the wheel axles and then we're going to fasten the connecting rod. These pieces make turning the uh, vehicle, the, the wagon, uh, far more easier. Now we're going to fasten the nut to lock up the axle. We're almost there. Just install the wheel. So with the other wheels installed, the last thing to do is the handle system. We are going to install the handle bracket, insert it, and then the handle itself have this one long screw go through them all. Here it is. Now we're going to give you some measurements of this unit. It is right about 38 inches long. And 20.5 inches wide and 22 inches tall. The bed itself, inside dimension is 37 inches by 18 and a half inches by 10 inches. The, wheel, the wheels are also 10 inch wheels. They're pneumatic. Uh, therefore, you can travel into different places that are not perfectly level, uh, such as gravel or even sand. The handle is just about 30 inches. The entire wagon weighs about 46 pounds. If you like our product and services, please do leave a good review. Any questions, let us know. Thank you.